can we get started? I think yeah. it's time to start. First, as I have thanked uh, Lyrica, I must thank you as well, right? Today it's not only a speech, but we are going to have the opportunity of talking a little bit with each other, all right? The title of the workshop today is Real Activities, How to Make Young Learners Make Sentences. Yes, because maybe you're tired of one word answer or maybe uh, gestures when you ask questions to students, right? Uh, so to get started, it can't be different, but we need pairs, trios or groups. Yes, we can't start like a teacher asks for everybody because only the best ones would answer. You know that. So the questions here are, number one, where do you work at? Regular or language school? How old are your students? How many students you have per class? How many classes you've got? Uh, what abilities do you think your students need to improve the most? Reading, writing, listening, speaking. Behavior is not there. Come on. We'll talk about behavior later. Uh, and number five, what do you expect to talk about or learn from real activities? How to make young learners make sentences? And also what you understand about input-output in language learning. Yes? Could we get in pairs or trios just to answer that? If you wish, you can stand up. Maybe let's use the space, okay? Let's feel comfortable and let me go around you. Two minutes more, all right, and you try. I'm sorry for. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Very nice. <laughs> no right? Yes. <laughs> Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
adolescents or adults? What are the to make young learners make sentences. I'm sorry, but she asked me just to go a little bit back. All right. Yes, I will return right now. All right. Sorry. Young learners, learners make sentences. Make sentences. Great. Mm -hmm. All right, no problem, Sandra. Well, very happy with your everybody very much involved wish we had much more time to talk because i see your experiences and your expectations for me seemed very interesting i was very happy seeing that yes and i would like to continue uh talking about that the notion of good or bad method is itself misguided Yes, a long time ago, we're not searching for the best method anymore, it seems some decades. Uh, because there is no best method, means that there is no single method which is best for ev everyone. We don't teach a class, we can have 30 in a class, but we don't give one lesson, we have to give many lessons. Yes, uh, so as there are important, sorry for this, but it was PowerPoint, a Portuguese correction, variations in the teaching context that influence what is best. So we could see that our contexts are different. Some people teach for private students, some people they teach for full time students, some people teach in a school specialized for children. Some people are specialized for adults, so our contexts are really different. So we can't have one single method, but yes, we need to work. We can have tools that can be helpful for all those contexts. We're talking now about personalization. It's dealing with our own contexts of teaching and finding ways for learners, success and motivation. It's all with personalization. Uh, how complex it can be to determine dependencies between contextual factors and instructional methods. Because sometimes your textbook and you want to apply that in a class and, you, and it seems you can't. Or it seems your students don't give you the, the, the feedback you wish. Like speaking the way you wanted them to like writing the way you wanted them to. So how can we fulfill these needs? Personalizing. There is no other solution. Uh, and also, I would like to talk about the typical English learner. Is there a typical English learner? I think there are so many typical English learners. I'll give you some examples. Tell me if you've seen those people before. 
we've got those who are sitting down smiling and just waiting for you to come and give them a class are you are those students yours some, yes yeah. some yes very nice mm -hmm. oh yes that's it um me too i have an average of 25 30 students in a class many of them very willing to have a lesson I, well i must thank god for that also do you have those who are screaming and you have to be very energetic to have them sitting down when you give a class have you been through a situation like that yeah. <laughs> yes, we have been. Yes, okay. Uh, those who may have a very low self-esteem, sorry for that, hardly ever participate. Shy. Mm -hmm. Those who have characteristics of attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder. Those who may have characteristics of autism spectrum those who may have characteristics of physical disability those who may have characteristics of dyslexia well we've been living on that maybe one of us have those characteristics if not one of us maybe it's my son maybe both of them maybe it's uh, their cousin but we are all part of this world yes and when i think of teaching English, teaching anything, those people are very much welcome. And this is why strategies are helpful to make those people be successful. I believe that because I've been seeing those people so successful. And this is why I'm here. Well, uh, what does it matter? The diagnosis, the characteristics, the problems, none of this matters. What matters? Solutions. Learning knows no bounds. Do you believe that? Because as teachers, we should try not only to believe that, but how can I make it possible? Because for me, that's what I do every day. That's what I see different children with different abilities. I don't see them as different problems. But I believe, and, and I can tell you so many stories about solutions and about uh, the way these kids develop. Because we're not only teaching a language, we're teaching a way of interaction, of dealing with different people. Yes? We cannot forget how we were when we were teenagers. When we were young. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's also a matter of forgiveness, okay? Uh, so many things we did, but some people could believe in us, so that, that's why we are here. Inclusive teaching, yes. There's no way uh, of thinking about teaching if not inclusive. There's no other way. Uh, so learning leads to development. We'll be talking about development so many times. Because sometimes the person is shy, as you've been talking about. But maybe you have a strategy, you have a game in pairs, but then this person lets her, their flowers bloom. Because there was an opportunity. And it led for development. Because other participations will happen just because there was a starting place. Uh, uh, higher mental functions, they derive from social interaction. Uh, well, I made it the, the wrong way, the, the animação, I'm sorry for that. And cognition, is, is there a way? Oh, there is no way. Cognition also does not emerge from biological. I, I know it by heart. I say by heart, but I point my head. Yeah. <laughs> it's so much cultural, isn't it? It's so much cultural, stronger than me. <laughs> so much cultural. Cognition does not emerge from the brain, from the, the mind. It also emerges from social practice. I've been had very good results with autistic children because they think by pictures, for example. When you say something, they, they picture an image on their brains. But then, why do you say? Why don't you show? If you show, they don't need to picture. They just understand right now. Uh, pedagogical interventions. 
their tools to expand students' knowledge. Why do I talk about pedagogical intervention? Because you have to intervene when you find a problem or when you find a situation you wish could be better. This is where the teacher should uh, apply all their skills by making an intervention. Well, I've seen that my students have difficulty learning the third person singular. These kids don't put that S whatever I do in the world. And I'm tired of correcting homework and tests. Well, what can I do? Well, let's start an intervention right now. Yes, we'll be thinking about this together. If we, I may not give you the solution now, but we'll be talking about this later. Uh, the language rich environment. Well, we, we, we say that the, the more people are e emerged in a context, the more they speak English, the better they learn. Well, let's. So, what are the guarantees? People go to another country. Is it automatic that they learn? No, we've been learning. Most of us have learned everything in Brazil. Later we've traveled, but just for fun, because we've learned it all in Brazil. So what are the guarantees? What are the guarantees if you have a language-rich environment? If you have a television only speaking English? Is it making people learn? What, is, what are the guarantees? Are we going to be substituted by apps, videos? We are not. We will never be. We will never be. Um, so let's, uh, let's find our solutions. Contextualized practice. All right. It's not simply rehearsing linguistic forms uh, for eventual acquisition, but trying to solve problems by using language. We give students a task, but we scaffold with language. Do you know what is to scaffold? Scaffold is like we would say andaimi. So we, we give them hints, we give them materialized ways of participating. Uh, engaged students is different from having them complying with an assignment. You can have students finish the task, which is different from having them being leaders and trying and being engaged. Oh, all right, we've been thinking about development of brain, uh, environment effects, technology effects, our, our social backgrounds affect our culture, our mental, emotional uh, functions, everything is affected. So let's affect students by this. Let's affect them by the emotion. We have this power. Yes. We are convincing. We can persuade. We have this power. So let's use it. Use it. Use the powers. Yes, yes Sandra. I have given the song of Frank Sinatra. I know. I fly again to the classroom and I select it in my mobile. Right. YouTube. And it was fun in function during the class. All the students have listened to it, and they they become very very happy with it. Yes, and they went home telling their mom and dad, "Mom, today I saw we listened to a song. It was like this, da 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 da. Isn't it like this? Yes, yes. You touched their hearts. Well, our target publics, we are going to fulfill their social needs." Because if we have private students that need to improve their speaking English for job uh, uh, purposes, well, let's help them. If we got kids that need to improve their social, emotional abilities and even self-esteem, let's help them. Inclusive people, all of us could one day are going to be considered inclusive because we are totally, completely, absolutely different. Yes, it doesn't mean we are better or worse. Uh, then let's just uh, think about one thing. The teacher asks, 
describe the illustrations and try to predict the story. Now we're going to case studies because I don't like to talk about things from imagination or from, from those magnificent psychologists. But I like to talk about contextualized practice. This is the key word, contextualized practice. And uh, I had a, a class in the fourth grade. They are about nine years old. In each class, I have 25 students, an average. And so I had to work with a book. Uh, it is a pre-reading task I decided to make. Well, the book was Maisie and the Dolphin. And in order to have children want to read the book, because if I, please open your book page one, nobody's going to listen to me. They're 25, yeah, they're stronger than me. So I have to try to be stronger than they are. Well, uh, I, I ask them to describe illustrations to predict the story. Let's have a test. You are going to do this right now. Please describe the illustrations in pairs or trios. Try to predict the story. Just the illustrations, all right? Talking pairs or trios. Try to predict. This is from the same book that you showed. Yes, it's from the same book I showed them. The dolphin. Maybe. The Maisie and the Dolphin. All right. I will show you the cover, then page one, then page two. Maisie and the Dolphin. Yes, I want to see the results I'll have. <laughs> Eu vou lá na frente, vocês tiram uma foto pra mim, tá bom? Pode ser daí de trás que aparece a palateia. You know the story. Tá bom. Hum. Yes, let's go to the other picture. Yes, that's it. Tá bom, é que assim só aparece mais natural. Obrigada. Welcome. Yes, welcome. Very happy you're here. Very nice, but there's a problem. My students are nine years old. You're so fluent. Uh, <sighs> well, that's not fair. That's not fair. They will never answer like you are doing. You are doing it so perfectly. Uh, so how can I help my students describe? The keyword is describe. How can I help them describe? So with keywords of what they see in those pictures. Keywords of what they see in those pictures. I like it. I like that. I like that you're telling me. I, that's it. It seems like you are a teacher just as I am. Uh, <laughs> I like that. Well, yes. And then I, I've already said that. But what kind of students would describe the images by raising their hands and speaking to the front of the 25 people? Maybe it wouldn't be myself. Right? How about the other ones? How about the other ones? Yes. Oh my God. The let's pre-teach. I liked it. You said this pre-teach. The solution is pre-teach. Describing image using keys in air rods. Here we start the practical part. Well, pre-teach. These words are present in the book. Well, and I made here. Uh, I, I just selected some images. And for example, boat, dolphin, house, hotel, pool, moon, window, bucket, fish, plastic bag and bottle. And I'm going to pre-teach them how to describe things. All right, I'm going to pre-teach them. 
How before I open the book? Yes. Let's not be so bad with them. Yes, of course. Let's not let's not get everybody to to be an expecting things. That's, they're just nine years old. One day we we were nine years old. One day, weren't we? Okay, so let's help them a little. Yeah, a long time, but we we, we were. Well, so we are going now to help them to scaffold. How can they go down the mountain? How can they go go up the building if we don't scaffold them? Maybe there's no other way. So here to describe the language in English, to describe if there is and there are, right? Good. So let me get another one just like this. I'm going to say what there is. I like it because that's quite exactly the same. Yes, I will. maybe here. Let me see if there's something. I don't know, but then I use my hand. So look, there. Don't worry, it's multi tech, all right? There. There. There is. For example, there is. All right, there is. This is for there is. Okay, another one. And for there are. Are. There are so many when I think about are. It's plural. How can their minds know are is plural? We know are is plural because we are teachers. But my nine year old kids don't know. Is a singular or is plural? How can they know that? How can they discover that? The thing is not telling them, it's having them discover that, right? So, I will put here. It takes some time because I'm not that fast, you've seen that. But I will read the objectives. There are, maybe I could put like three more green rods. Are, many, many are. I will. I think one more green rod would be good to illustrate this. Oops. There are. Right. And then there isn't. There. You see that there is always the, the same color. Yes? Because I'm talking about those students, visual learners, learn by pictures, learn by, uh, by doing, by moving their bodies. Well, there isn't. This is the one I have to try to put together. I will try to put this together. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's a bit... Isn't... Isn't... The red illustrates negative. I wish I could make it more linear, but I'm just trying to illustrate. Yes, it's a bit hard. Uh, there is, there are, there isn't, and we find more rods for there aren't. Would you like to try it? I've brought sets of games for you. Could we try? Yes, would you like to have this opportunity? Yes, uh, please. Oops, I'm sorry, don't, don't worry. Well, I will now allow you to be in groups, in pairs, in trios, the way you feel more comfortable. Would you come here to have a game set? You come here and if you need more rods, I give you. Yes? Well, well here there is a game set. Here there is another game set, another game set, another game set, and... This game set, I'll just make it right now by getting the rods, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> we can have here rods, rods, rods. If you think, oh, Lillian, please give me a red rod. I give you. Just the rods are missing. I must give you. Try, try to have this opportunity of touching. 
Oh yes, because we are talking about there is. There is is only for one thing. So, for example, the pool. There is one pool. And the, the, the plastic bags. And then you calculate there are one, two, three, four, seven plastic bags, okay? Please. Yes. No, no problems. Yeah, we are going to describe. Get the rods, the, the, the kinds you need. Uh, we are going to describe the objects that are here. For example, there is one pool. So, which one represents there? There. Yes, there. There. The green is. is there is. So, you say there is. A pool. <laughs> yes, the color, uh, the rods represent a word. Do you understand the rods represent a word? Do you want more rods? No? Get it, please. Yes, you get, you get one of them, two of them, there's, there's just a right. And then, for example, look, let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many plastic bags can you see? There. There are. Look, there are seven plastic bags. There are, are many. Do you see? Yes? If you wish to take a seat, we have. Space for you, all right? Come, come. Oh, maybe you could talk about those windows. You could say there are. Yeah, well, you you will, your vision was higher than mine. I didn't think about that, but maybe that's of course. You can say there are many many windows. Yes, you can. You can say. Very nice. And you see that, for for example, I, uh, the fish. There is a dolphin, but the fish, and it gets me. Give me the the yes. For example, you could say there. Isn't a fish? Yes, all right. Yes, and then you get it, then you make the sentence in your brain. You organize your brain like this, all right. And also, do you know about negative? Are you making the negative ones? Yes, there fish. There isn't a fish. You see, it's better like this, in the correct order. You see? One piece, yes, one piece for the complement. Yes, that's it. Yes. Oh, oh God. You have the, it's just a way we organize the sentence. É a organização da frase, right? So there, this represents the word there. This represents the word is. And this, 
There is and there are. Yes, that's it. There isn't a house. Great. And how can you make this structure using the rods? Try to use the rods, you have to hold them. All right. Two minutes more for that, yes? Yes, of course. This is, uh, this can be, it's really Scala Cuisinaire. Uh, Cuisinaire. E também tem a... É, você acredita que eu usei há pouco tempo e agora não estou conseguindo me lembrar? Mas eu vou mostrar para você. Eu ainda vou conseguir me lembrar, mas ele chama Cuisinaire. Tá bom? Cuisinaire, né? Que escreve. É, isso. Na verdade, aqui é um, uma possibilidade, mas são milhões de coisas que você pode fazer com isso. There, uh -huh. there isn't, there isn't, perfect, perfect, you, you got the idea, that's it, you got the idea, yes, you got the idea, great, No, they're really, they, they look like, but they're plastic bags, but they look like, but they're plastic bags, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. but they look like, yes, yes, so there are, you see, you see, yes, you're welcome, I will have a, let's have a seat, yes, you can, you can sit down, please, there are more spaces here, you're welcome. So now I do as I do with the students. We clap, 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 stop, 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 clap, 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 stop, stop, stop. And then everybody have the time, yes, to organize everything. Try please to put the, the, the game set inside the plastic. Not so beautiful, but it was homemade, you know that. <laughs> right, thank you. Right. It was just a way of showing uh, the organization of brain, the way it works. Well, I could use, like it's better when we do this in a, in a plain area, all right? So there, 